What's up guys? Justice here. It is a beautiful, beautiful day in South Florida. My car thermometer is reading like 81 degrees. So I'm I'm headed to go work out. I'm doing an upper body day. It's Tuesday. Last week I only did one day that did any upper well I did two days. I did a push and a pull but my frequency for each body part was only at one per week. And I don't like that. I typically like to do two, but I was just unable to do any other day, do any other upper day that week. So this week I'm gonna do two upper days. I'm not gonna separate push and pull. The volume will be lower, um, but guys, like these past, like my upper body workouts have been really bad. I've been losing weight by mistake. Like I'm down to 185 which is only like five pounds away or like three pounds away from what I was at when I cut last time. Like I I haven't been meaning to lose all this weight, but it's just my training has been right now focused on my rehab. And so um, things haven't, I haven't really been making any progress on my upper body strength or anything like that yet, but that's okay. Like I'm saving in my mind. I am just waiting and I'm just preparing for when everything is right and then I'm gonna draw up a really, really good program. Um, I'm learning a lot about programming, specifically for strength and muscle, in my advanced methods class with uh, Dr. Mike Zordo. So if you don't know who he is, you can look him up, he knows his stuff. And there's so much more I know about programming now than before, and that I plan to share with you all as well. Um, and I plan to implement that when I feel 100% and really just, really just go like, so ham it makes so much progress but i'm i'm waiting i'm being patient i'm just waiting so today i'm going to do an upper day i don't really know i mean i know what exercises i'm going to do for the most part but i haven't really even decided on rep ranges like i'm not setting a great example right now in that case because i don't know specifically what i'm going to do what i have been doing a lot of is, is kind of regaining my focus uh if you guys know me from from a while now i I am an exercise science student and I'm, I'm a fitness professional, I'm a trainer and what I've kind of been been learning over these, these few weeks and really these last few weeks mostly but also during the whole time I've had this injury is really what I want to focus on um, going forward with this channel, with the content that I'm making, with some of the things I want to um, offer to you guys is something that's a little more holistic. If you guys remember before I switched the channel over to my name, over to Justice Cousins Fitness um, and all my other platforms to that, it was DMP Fitness. And what that stood for, and this guy is trying to kill me. Wow, there's some really bad drivers in Florida. What DMP stood for is development and progression. And so I didn't even really realize it before as to the degree that I do now, but I've always been obsessed with getting better. Like the name in itself, development and progression. I thought a lot about what name I would use when I started my YouTube channel. And that was the one I ended up on because I, it fit me the best. Um, and so now what my focus on is on now is helping people get better. I wanna help people be better. And not just at fitness, like for me, why I love fitness so much is not just because of how it's helped me physically, but how it's helped me be better in other aspects of life as well. I feel like people that are serious about working out, besides the fact that they have more energy and they're, they're physically stronger, they have a certain mental aspect that people that don't work out seriously don't really have. And it's hard to explain, but it's there. And I think that is the part that I enjoy and benefit more than the physical part. The physical part will take time and as you can see, the physical part come and goes. With me, it it's not always there. When I get injured, which has happened a few times, I can't do what I did before. I can't progress that way. But I can always be better in something. I can always improve my knowledge. I can always improve something. And I think that idea is, is profoundly important. Um, the idea of being better. And so that's really what my focus is gonna be from here on out. Um, and that's really what I want you guys to get out of when you watch me. When you when you watch my channel, when you read my post, I want you to be able to relate to that idea of improvement and progression. And likely if you're watching this, you're 
somebody who already like you might not have realized it kind of how I didn't realize it but if you're watching this channel likely you're somebody who likes to improve you like to be better and that's what you want and if you don't like that kind of stuff you're probably watching the wrong channel because if you're somebody who's like who likes being stagnant you like the safe zone you don't really like to push your limits or try things that are uncomfortable this probably isn't a channel for you because that's not that's not what I'm about along those lines I have linked below I started a blog on WordPress and that's focused on being better it's going to be some of the stuff that I neglect to talk about on camera because sometimes I just forget sometimes ideas come in my mind and I don't have the camera with me I'm not in a position where I can record so I it'll be a lot easier for me to type them out but it's all going to be about being better um, in fitness in the gym uh, strength training but as a person in your life in school all that stuff and also you can opt in for my email list right now I have an uh, IIFYM guide that I created recently and also a bench press program that I use um, I kind of documented it, some of it probably a few months back um, a little bit after my injury I really focused on bench press and that's when I I hit an all-time PR of 265 for, for three um, with my injury and so that the program I use to get that basically if you opt in for the emails you'll get those for free I'll send those out to you and um, there's gonna be other stuff that I'm making along the way stuff that's not available on this YouTube channel but if you decide that you're a person that wants to be better like if you're not okay with just being okay not okay with just staying the same then you're probably gonna want to sign up for that that email list. so um, I did a lot of talking I'm not sure how long but probably a little oh seven minutes almost eight minutes that's a long time all of this probably won't make the cut so just uh, finished my workout changed it to my other cricket fit shirt uh, I don't really advertise too much for my brand but these shirts are still on sale that's linked below some people still order them every now and then so this shirt and the shirt I was wearing before in the workout footage those are both still available the red the black one um, is actually not available on the site so if you want that, you can send me an email. Anyways, I'm pretty depleted. That workout was pretty tiring. I really, I didn't have that much time today, so I didn't really get to do that much. On the bench press, I did a top set. I, I wanted to see how much I could do for three reps. So just do a top set of three reps and then I back down. I could only do 225 for three reps. And that was about an RPE. That was about an RPE 10. I don't think I could have did any more reps. Um, and so my bank, my strength overall has really dropped. Um, I there's a video on Instagram. I I don't know if I put it up on YouTube, but at my best, I was do I did 225 for nine reps, and actually that was a little bit before my best. And now I'm down to 225 for three. So, I mean that kind of says it all. Things aren't going too well in terms of strength, but. Um, that's all right. Like I said, I'm focused on the end goal. So I actually just wrote an article for Kyle Hunt and it's not up yet, but it'll probably be up pretty soon. And I talk about setting goals. It's a beginner guide. I talk about the importance of setting goals, specific goals, measurable goals, uh, attainable goals, SMART goals, the acronym. And um, what I'm realizing now is I, I still have a goal but it's just it's just not in connection to weights right now like before my goal was to hit 315 on bench and I got pretty close but then I went on a cut and then the injury kind of set me back but right now I don't have any number goals that doesn't mean I don't have goal set my goal is just to get better in as quick as possible and that's not really a, a measurable time frame but as quick as possible I just want to be better and that actually meant me having to sacrifice my upper body training because the overhead pressing I was doing, the heavy benching I was doing was actually was actually aggravating my back and making it harder for me to get better overall. Um, so what I'm saying is, although physically my strength is decreasing, absolutely I am weaker than I was before in the physical sense, in the sense of what I can put up in terms of number. In every major lift, in every pretty much every way physically, I'm weaker. But I am not any weaker of a person I'm not any less stronger as a person and I truly believe that because it's kind of like what I say about money um, 
some people will get money, like, like people that win the lottery, right? Let's say they're super broke, they win the lottery, and what usually happens? They end up becoming broke again because they don't know how to handle money. So they were never really rich because that, that kind of is a mindset. These people, these entrepreneurs, these business people who make a bunch of money um, and they keep it and they make more money, it, they're, they're wealthy and they're rich, not just because of the money they have, but the mindset they have about the money, the way that they are striving to make more and all that other stuff. So being strong is not a, just about the physical uh, manifestation of being strong, it's about your mindset, it's about mentally how strong you are. I think that's more important than physically how strong you are because even if I didn't get injured, you, your strength never stays constantly high or it never increases constantly. It, 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 it's usually a pattern that wait, it's like a wavy pattern, it goes up and down. Um, in fact, when you peak for any physical event, there's only a small amount of, like a window that you have where you can peak, perform optimally, and then immediately it starts to go down. So the numbers that you can lift is not an indication of how strong you are. This is an indication of how physically strong you are, but not how strong you are. And so that's the point I just wanna make. Um, I don't feel any less strong because I'm weak. It's kinda of like when I first started strength training, when I stopped doing the super bodybuilding type training and went over to BBC for the first time, I was pretty much the weakest person in there physically, but um, I didn't let that get to my head. And the weaker you are physically now, the more room you have to progress and the more you have to look forward to. Um, anyways, I'm talking too much. I've talked too much in all of these clips and I don't even know how I'm gonna end up using all this footage of me talking, but that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like, comment your thoughts below. Check out the links in the description and I'll see you guys in the next one.